I just want to end uh, end off uh, just a bit broader about this whole thing with too many subscription services now coming out that it seems to be going in a messier and messier direction, um, at least in the sh short to medium term. And I love streaming. Um, I love the, the, the technology behind it that um, I know that there was something quaint about putting, um, I don't know, a tape in a player or a, a <laughs> disc in a, in a player and, um, you know, doing it a bit more mechanically where um, this, there was a bit more effort behind it. So you, you actually you know, would have to th really think about what you'd put in there because it was a bit, of, a little bit of effort to sort of uh, make that happen. And you also had a physical copy, but I love streaming because of how instantaneous it is. It's mm -hmm. so quick, um, and uh, you know, you can stream 4K no problems these days. So that part of it's great, but it seems like all these uh, all these companies are just making a mess of the actual model because. I, like I said, I'm not subscribing to a, a million and one subscription yeah. services just to get because one of them has one show that I want to see. Um, do you see any? Do you see them getting out of that um, at some stage? I mean, it'd be an irony that if in the end it turned out that someone comes up with a bundled service of all these services, maybe that's what Apple will announce on uh, March 25th. But that's essentially a rebadged version of cable. Um, which is what everyone was complaining about to begin with. You know, we don't want all of these things in one package. Well, that that was the promise, wasn't it? You mm. know, the original sort of promise when there was only Netflix really visible was you could get whatever you want, which you couldn't actually, and you still can't get whatever you want mm. on Netflix. It just seems like you can. But now that you've got all these other players, you can actually see what you can't get on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so suddenly Netflix is less attractive. Mm. Um and I think, you know, this is something that they're going to have to work out. This is another mini revolution within the media landscape and and they will have to, well, there'll be a shake out at some stage where they'll just be acquisitions and you might have, what, 10 players now globally and I think you'll find that, um, you know, they're reduced to two or three global giants, you know, because the reality is is that... Um, it's a much better model probably for the content industry that they do one sale and license across a number of platforms than it is to go with an exclusive deal for a single platform. In, in the short term, it might be better for them, mm. but probably in the long term, it's not. You want your content available universally, and if you get paid per view, then you want it on it as universally as, as possible. So, you know, the, the only rider on that is if one platform will pay you substantially more than you would get from a, an open licence. How that will play out, who knows, you know, once again. But uh, I do think that really if you think about it, you have one music subscription and, and music's not too bad. Really most content is on, on the platforms that are available, widely yeah. available. Visual content is not the same but it's going to have to go the same way. And um, you might have two or three, you know, big content providers that own everything ultimately and um, it'll just be your preference or ecosystem. Well, that I guess just like as a final, final point, um, which could be a whole other discussion is this Holly Hollywood's last gasp at trying to control um, their content. Mm -hmm. um, Disney's probably in the best position to do it um, right now, but... The reality is that um, a lot of what's making this messier is them because they want to yeah. control where it is and they want to do their own versions um, and uh, they may not win out in the end um, because Netflix are taking like uh, Netflix is an example yeah. of where they've taken steps to generate their own original content so they if anything ever did happen and they were and content was pulled from their service they've got a whole back catalog that they've been building of original series as well. So well, it'll be I interesting. Think, I would think at some stage Hollywood's only option is to enter an uneasy sort of uh, alliance between all the studios there for their film and TV content and make it exclusive on a Hollywood platform. Yeah. That because yeah. And, that, and, I, and I'm next. sure, and I'm sure Disney would be right up there to want to do that because they've got the uh, given all of their acquisitions over the past um, so 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 much time they're, they're in the box seat to do that sort of thing 
you would have thought that if they were clever, they would have done it before Netflix or they would have done it long ago and they could have each had their studio channel yeah. on mm-hmm. on there and just adopted Netflix's model. Mm. And they probably would have, uh, you know, Not crippled Netflix. Yeah. But they've still got the option of doing that in the future. 